Hi, my name is Pepe Manikan, and I teach here at the STA. How did you start teaching? I applied. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is you. Right, question one. How did you start teaching? Uh, I applied here in 2006, second term of 2006, and uh, I was looking for a steady job. Uh, but my first job was also here in Benil, so I kind of felt I should, you know, try my luck again, go back. And uh, that's it. From second term of 2006 up to the present, I I'm still here. The subjects I teach are mainly the audio subjects for the MMA. So that includes uh, the sound des, did you sound, sound effect. Uh, the only uh, the only subject that I don't teach for na, na audio for MMA is uh, um, Sir Henry Bolos uh, audio PR. I guess my teaching style would fall under the category of very non-traditional. Uh, I like to keep my class very happy and light. Um, because aside from teaching, I'm also a performer. I have a band. I have an improv group. So I bring a lot of those elements when I, when I teach, when, I, when I'm in the classroom. Uh, one aspect of my philosophy when I'm teaching is I don't look at the classroom as a classroom. I see it as a stage and I can perform and deliver my lines or the lesson in such a way that the students will have fun and learn at the same time. Audio plays a big part in a lot of multimedia projects, uh, except maybe for graphics and photography. Uh, if you're doing video, there's got to be sound there somewhere. If you're doing animation or, or website with, or interactive CD with games or whatnot or interactive stuff, uh, you're going to need sound somewhere along the way. So um, sound helps enhance the experience. Uh, for people uh, who you know, watching movies or playing a game or whatnot. I don't like teaching in CSB. I love teaching in CSB because of a lot of the students. Uh, well, there are some students that are a tough, but uh, in general, I, I, I love working with the students here. They're all very much into their work and their passion shows. And yeah. There are things that I find challenging in being a teacher, but for the most part, I don't feel that pressure too much because uh, I love what I do, I enjoy what I do. Uh, the, the challenges are quite simple, you know, uh, meeting deadlines. Because uh, there's work in So, there's a lot of chine check and there's a lot of work in So, you have to go through all of those one by one. But basically, that's it. I could say I'm satisfied being a teacher. I'd, I had other job offers before wherein I had to choose between uh, this teaching here and working in a network or working somewhere else in a production house, but I chose to stay here. So I guess, yes, it is satisfying. At the end of the day, I really enjoy seeing uh, people's faces, the students' faces, and you know, making people realize that there's more to their project and that I can help them improve themselves and their project and uh, make them feel you know, a better person overall. I think that's the uh, really uh, beautiful thing and nicest thing in the job when you're a teacher. Especially when they go back to you a few years and they'll say, thank you sir, you really helped me, blah, blah, blah. It's a very uh, gratifying feeling. My advice to students uh, would be my advice to my students. And uh, just work hard on it. And the most important thing is enjoy your college life. It's just four years and it will be gone and over and you know, really quick. So enjoy it while it lasts. And make mistakes. It's alright to make mistakes. Yeah. Thank you for the interview, sir. Hi. My name is Pepe Manikan and I teach here at CSV. Okay, next. <laughs>